One big part of BME AI Studio is the specimen collection. The specimen collection is the place where we can find all our imported gas data and where we can collect and label it as individual specimens that we need for our specific use case. These specimens will later be the source for the machine learning, so we can organise all our data here before proceeding to train algorithms. Here I am in AI Studio within my project, and as you can see, I have already imported gas data from one measurement session called Berlin Specialty Coffee. It contains four specimens. If we select a specimen, we can see all available details about this specimen on the right-hand side. The label specifies what exactly has been measured. This could be an object, a specific situation, a smell, gas, etc. In our case, it is espresso coffee, or neutral air. It's good practice to label specimens as explicitly and clearly as possible. Espresso, 100% Arabica, might be better than just espresso. Or, I don't know, Apple Granny Smith, one day old, might be better than just Apple. Below, we can enter a comment to add extra information or notes. This can help to identify and distinguish the specimen later on. Additionally, we can enter some metadata. This section allows us to store additional metadata for your specimens. Unlike the label and comments field, metadata allows structured information to be stored across different specimens. Create a new metadata entry by selecting Add Additional Metadata Key. Let's add the amount of caffeine for each coffee. Metadata keys are globally defined. As you can see, every specimen in our collection now has this metadata key. And we can enter values for each specimen, or leave it blank. BME AI Studio also allows us to select multiple specimens, so we can quickly enter data for several specimens at once. Down below, we also find lots of additional information about each specimen and about the configuration that was used during the recording. Here's another example, where we already have much more data in the specimen collection. We can search for specific specimens using the search function, or sort our specimens the way we want, for instance, alphabetically. It's recommended to always create a new project with its own specimen collection for each individual use case. That way, we have all the specimens for each use case grouped in one collection. If we need to bring certain specimens from one project over to another project, we can simply use the export feature. Select the specimen, hit export, and save it somewhere on your hard drive. Then open the other project and simply select import data and find the specimen file we have just exported. Finally, we can delete specimens from our collection. Simply select a specimen, then hit delete. Be careful though, we might have used this specimen within one of our algorithms. After deleting the specimen, it will be missing from the class and therefore retraining the algorithm won't be possible anymore. In that case, BME AI Studio will give us a warning. Once we have prepared and labelled all our data in the specimen collection, we are ready to go to My Algorithms, where we can use the data from our collection to train our machine learning algorithms. 